Hello and thanks for joining me for this new video of the series Getting Started with Oxyprops, exploring the various settings. In this episode, we will have a look at the typography settings in your Oxyprops dashboard. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so this is where we left last time. So let's open the typography tab. And in the typography tab, you have a set of settings on the left. There are in Oxyprops 10 typography sizes from double zero to eight. Sizes six to eight are very big ones, most of the time used for decorative texts. They are not shown by default because it can become a mess, but if you want to see them, you can toggle display massive sizes and you will see all of them. As we are working with fluid typography, you have the preview of your font size on mobile on the left and the preview of your font size on desktop on the right. And you can see here that size 5 is the default for H1. That's when you activate Oxyprop's theme styles or when you use the default Odash fluid font CSS variable. So these are the default for H1 to H6. So H6 is size 0 and the default body text is also size 0, which is the base size. So double zero is smaller than your base font size and all the other ones are bigger. The default font size is one rem. So these are the default settings and you can see here, this is the base font size on mobile. And this is the base font size on desktop. So the first setting you can adjust is the base font size. So you can simply slide it or define something. If you want your base font size for some reason to be two rems, well, you just type two. And now your base font size in two rems and all other size scale accordingly. The next setting is the mobile to desktop ratio. So with this base font size, the first one, we did define the desktop value at largest breakpoint. So this is the maximum font size that we will achieve. And this is for size zero. But as this is fluid typography, it will scale with the screen size to achieve a minimum. And this will be this one at the smallest breakpoint. And this parameter controls the ratio between these two. So if I enlarge it to two, we will have a ratio of two from mobile to desktop. So font on desktop will be twice as big as the font on mobile. Or font on, on mobile will be half the font on desktop. So as we set the base font to two, a mobile to desktop ratio of two means that this will be one rem. We have two rems, one rem. A ratio of one means that the typography is not fluid anymore. We will have the same size on desktop and on mobile. So let's use 1.66 for example. And of course, this ratio applies to the base font size, but the same ratio applies to heading ones with size five, size four, etc. So maybe this is a bit big for a font size. So let's take it down to 1.1, maybe 1.1 rem will be our base font size. And then the next parameter is here is the minimum fluid font size. This is a, an absolute minimum. You will define a hard stop on mobile because if we let the algorithm work, it will scale down each font size by the ratio and the double zero is here or even the zero can become very small. So with this parameter, you give a hard stop and you say, for example, with the default 0.8, that you never want your fonts to be smaller than 0.8 rems. Okay, to illustrate this, if I reduce my base font size, maybe to one, and I enlarge my mobile to desktop ratio, you notice that the smallest font size become equivalent. This is because those sizes have reached the minimum font size and will not go below my parameter of 0.8 rem. Okay, so if you find your font being too small on mobiles, you can adjust this minimum font size. The next parameter is the font scale ratio. So this defines the growth parameter between all sizes. So if this is down to one, there is 
a one ratio, growth ratio, so there's no growth. All of the size will be the same. And as I enlarge it, my fonts are growing faster. The higher the ratio, the faster the fonts are growing. And if you want to, you can use presets. So maybe this one is a good one. The last parameter is about subheadings. In the framework, you will find utility classes that will style a paragraph of text or any text element that you would like to associate with a heading as a subheading. So for example, you have, of course, H1 headings, and you can add the text element and give it the class of O sub H1. And this will be, this will give this element a font size of a subheading for, of a subheading for a H1. So with these parameters, you define the ratio between the heading font size and its subheading font size. So the preset, the default is 0.7. So if my heading is two rems in font size, my subheading will be 0.7 times two rem. So it will be 1.4 rem. And this helps getting consistent ratio between your headings and your subheadings. So once again, you have a slider and you can play with it and check the result on mobile and desktop. So probably this is a bit small. So let's use 0.6 and let's have a look. Go back to our Bricks editor, refresh our website. And now the scale between our headings did change according to our new settings. All of them use the default font size associated with the level of heading they are using. Of course, you can always set a different font size, either setting the font size CSS property. And I can also use a utility class. Let's say I want this one to be very big for my hero section. I want a O-fluid-font-8. I can preview it. I even have all of them. Okay, so this one will be a fluid font 8. And imagine I want to add a subheading. So let's add a paragraph of text. Bring it here. And this will be a sub. So a fluid font 8 sub for the subheading. And this gets the proper font size to match our heading. And that's it for this uh, overview of uh, the Oxyprops uh, settings. This was the last videos in this small series. If you want to go more in depth with the different features or the different settings, look for more in depth videos. And of course, you can also have a look at the documentation site. I wish you very pleasant builds with Oxyprops and I'll see you in the next video.